Oh, that shit, that shit, uh, me and Brand Z posted up, man. That shit, that shit had me dying, man. Brand Z a funny dude, man. Right. Sitting there talking about, you know, yeah. all this emailing and tracks and shit. Yeah, these DJs, and they have these DJs, you know, damn well. They don't be opening up these emails, listening to a nigga music. I, I put a post up the other day and I was like, yo, I'm like, it's funny as hell when I'm 45. Nah, I, mean, I want to give a shout out, you know, to all the people that's, you know, supporting a nigga, following behind a nigga. And I want to give a shout out to the haters too, you feel what I'm saying? I love the fact that y'all hate me, y'all see me as a threat. I love that shit, you know what I mean? Shout out to niggas that just be watching me, man, you know what I mean? Cause I ain't watching you niggas, man. Niggas be watching tweets and shit on Facebook pages, searching a nigga, trying to find out what a nigga doing. Shout out to you, shout out to you niggas, man, that take the time out, you know, to watch me on some hate shit. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to you niggas. I ain't watching you niggas. That's what I'm watching. I'm watching that motherfucking money, nigga. I ain't got time to watch a nigga. <laughs> I'm trying to make me some motherfucking money. You feel me? Well, the main, the main single on GP2 is um, definitely I Need You. You know, that's the joint that put you know a lot of money into it. Put a lot of money into the video already. You know, shot the video with Rock Davis. You know, rented the made back. You know, had my whole staff out there. You know, what I mean, it was love all across the town. That was that was that was the day. That was the day Trent had to stand up. You feel me? I, got I made a, I made a lot of fans. A lot of people loved me, and also I made a lot of haters at the same time. But you know, that's you know that's what they do. That's what I do. <laughs> so tell us, uh, what's your favorite song on the GP two? Um, oh, this joint actually bumping right here. My. To me personally, my favorite joint on GP2 is um, Give Me Your Love, if you want to single out to one song. Um, Give Me Your Love is the one, that's, that's the one that, you know, I tapped in, I tapped in a different part of the memory, you know what I mean? Brought back the old t words. you feel what I'm saying? You know, I took them sort of that one, and my, uh, my, my second joint on there is um, the track called Funeral which is a song about me getting killed and you know my family and friends coming to my funeral and you know the things you should do after you know after my life my physical life here is gone you know at first I was a little iffy about putting it on a mixtape because you know for one you know it's, it's different from what artists you know on my level would do it sounds like something you would really put on an album you feel what I'm saying there's a storyline to it yeah and I mean got a dope beat it don't sound like it's something that you uh, artists would only put on a mixtape, but I realized, you know, I'm not every artist, son, and I'm just talented like that, so, you know, it made the cut, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so... Yeah, it was produced by Sentiments, of course. And tell us what, this last question, tell us why is, uh, Give Me Your Love, why is Give Me Your Love your personal favorite? Um, Give Me Your Love is my personal favorite because... You know, it, it 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 took me back. It took me back. You know, to it made me think about you know my my childhood growing up as a teenager. You know, my mom was struggling. You feel what I'm saying? You know, we was living off next to nothing. I wasn't one of the lucky kids to get the new Jordans. You feel what I'm saying? I got a you know luck. Luckily, I might have got a pair of sneakers for school, but you know them pair of sneakers, I had to take care of them until you know God knows how long. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, for you. Used to bring out the toothbrush and you know the white bar of soap. <laughs> Scrub yeah. them down, you know, keep them clean and shit, you know what I mean? You know, back on Terrell Avenue days, nice to, um, you know, I had, uh, living on Terrell Avenue, I didn't have, I didn't even have a bed, you know, I didn't even have a bed to lay my head on and shit, so, you know what I mean? But, you know, we worked, we worked through it, you know, my mom's, and like everybody in the household, you know, I had the room with the bathroom in it, so every time you better go to the bathroom, you know, I'm on the floor sleeping, they step right over me. Going there, use the bathroom, you know, motherfuckers smelling terrible. I had to deal with that shit. Like, oh, man, you know what I mean? It was, I mean, you know, what you go through shapes you who you are today. So if I wouldn't have, you know, maybe if I wouldn't have went through those, you know, those struggling hard times, I wouldn't have the personality that I have today, you feel what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm always willing to work hard, no yeah. matter how successful I am, you know, no matter how nice my car is, no matter how much money I got. You feel what I'm saying? I still got that backbone to work harder and get more. Yeah, you and feel I'm you. never going to lose. It's never going to stop. You feel what I'm saying? So I appreciate, you know, the shit I went through as a kid. You feel me? Yeah, you know? Yeah. It, 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 was, it was, you know, hard. <clears throat> it was hard back then, but, you know, now you look back at it and smile. Like, you know what I mean? You, 
You done went through it. What can you say?